How's it going, guys? TJ here with another episode of Online Mac. So in this episode, I'll be talking about an app called Agenda, which is available on the Mac App Store for absolutely free. And if you wish to subscribe to the premium features, it does cost $18 a year. But as the developers stress on the uh, on the page for in the Mac App Store, they they emphasize that you do not have to pay for the premium features to get much of the experience of the app, which is, by the way, absolutely, really one of the most impressive note-taking apps I've seen in years. And I've used the entire slew of note-taking apps that Mac App Store offers and uh, iOS offers, and there's just nothing that has really been this elegant, simple, but yet efficient as Agenda. So, uh, you can clearly see all my things I've entered in so far. I don't mind if you guys see them, so I don't care that and, and so on. And, uh, I wanted to show you for demonstration purposes um, the app and how it kind of looks in terms of the overview. Um, it's very, uh, like I said, very simple and elegant, but yet uh, it has a great flow to it. So, this on the left hand side, you have three views here on the agenda. You can actually just see the um, the entries for today, but they have none going on for right now. You can search all of the entries in the app itself, no matter where, what category it's in, what project it's in. Um, you can search it. And then uh, underneath that, you do have your project list, which I have three currently, Medical Work and YouTube. And they all, it, it, it's just, it, it doesn't really require that much explanation, but I, I just have to emphasize again that it's really quite simple. So to, let's say you want to edit something. So let's say, you know, um, something comes up and you change the time in one of your entries. All you have to do is just click and adjust it. Now, I'm not going to do that in this case because um, yeah, I guess I could just for demo purposes, I could say, oh, they rescheduled the 3 p.m. Oops, to 3 p.m., although it's actually not, it's still 2 p.m. And it's really simple. And then it automatically saves it once you click out of it. Um, and you can click on the nice, simple to see, learns, uh, learns plus icon up here, and that will give you a new note. Uh, under this category, and then if you want to go ahead and uh, assign a date to it, uh, you can do so right here. And the great thing about this too, guys, is that it links to uh, to uh, Mac OS Calendar as well. So it all links together. Um, and you can actually create an event right in this window here. Um, and once you type something in, it'll save it automatically as well. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete that note. So you just go up to the, the settings icon right here. And you just say delete note. It's very simple. Um, so, I think the developers require, uh, excuse me, the developers deserve a huge thumbs up and uh, kudos to them for the quality of this app. And a lot of times, note taking apps try to be something that they're not. Or they either lack something obvious or they just are trying to do too much at once. And the great thing about Agenda is that it does everything that it's supposed to do and, and that's it. It does exactly what the developer describes. It's a date focused note taking app and it's simple and elegant to use. And there is actually probably even a slew of features that I don't even have the uh, time yet to discuss. But not just the time to discuss, but really there's so much, the best way to really describe it. You can watch it in my video, or you can just actually uh, check out the app for yourself and start using it with all of its features. You won't regret it. Again, it's absolutely free. But if you want to subscribe to the premium features, that is $18, I believe $18 a year. Um, but it is not, by all means, not necessary to do so. So, um, with that being said, I'll leave this video here for now. I think this gives you a pretty quick but good enough rundown of what you can expect with Agenda. I definitely recommend it. And, um, and again, if you do want to subscribe, to, let's say you do use it and you do want to subscribe to the premium features, you just have to click on Get All Features up here and it'll, it'll take you right there. 
um, to do so. And there you go. Oh, and one last thing I do want to mention is that let's say you do want some tips and help. All you have to do is click right up here in this icon. It's the Agenda Community uh, window that comes up. And it'll actually take you through uh, how-to guides and discussions feedback. So, um, if you want to try a beta version of the app. So this is actually a very handy utility that will help you uh, far more than I probably can in this video. So definitely check out the Agenda Community window uh, as well. And you can also create an account with Agenda too, which I have not done yet and I'm going to um, because it's definitely, it's, it's well worth the time. Um, it's a great, great app. Highly recommend it. With that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.